Well, what's up again guys, Brian here at 3TR and I'm in an extremely good mood because now that I'm done talking about the Devil May Cry 5 trailer which was shown to us at the Microsoft conference, it's time to jump over to Sony and give you my thoughts on the newly officially announced trailer for the Resident Evil 2 remake. Now, without question, to me, this was the highlight of the entire show. This was the game that really spiked my excitement to a 10 because Resident Evil 2 has always been a game that I've wanted to beat. But unfortunately, due to the current version that apparently a lot of old school Resident Evil fans enjoy playing, it was just a game that I was just unable to play. Now, I've been able to do research on it for certain videos that I've done, but I'm sorry. Terrible camera angles and controls make that game virtually unplayable. And that's to say that's pretty much how it is for all the early Resident Evil games. But after, after having seen this trailer, I'm excited because they pretty much from what I saw, did everything I wanted them to do for this Resident Evil 2 remake. And just like my Devil May Cry 5 video that I did last time, I also did a video giving my top five things that I wanted to be added to this remake. And as far as I can tell so far, they definitely did the two biggest ones, which were to have it be more horror focused, which was a good thing, and to fix the camera and controls. It is over the shoulder. It is Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6 style. I'm game. I'm totally game for this. This looks incredible. Uh, I would even say it's somewhat on par with some of the Dead Space games that I've played, or at least some of the better ones. Now, uh, we didn't really see too much in terms of uh, how far into the game we're going. Uh, but they, they showed off some sections of the Raccoon City Police Department section, which is right at the beginning. Uh, we got our official looks of the characters, and as far as I feel, the characters do seem a little off, because I always thought that, 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 um, that Leon was a redhead during that time, I mean, but I guess they want to be a little bit more consistent. And, and he does look younger, even though some people say that, you know, he has, like, his, his face looks odd. Uh, however, I, I'm a little bit odd about Claire. They definitely changed not only her look, but her clothes. It would have been nice if they had at least made her clothes seem more similar to what she was wearing in the original Resident Evil 2 game, which she had like a really cool vest on. So uh, I don't think we saw too much of Eight. We didn't really see much of Ada, but she is there. Uh, it, you know, from her silhouette, looks like they changed her clothes too. Uh, there's definitely some mention of the Birkins. Uh, the zombies looked absolutely creepy. I mean, these zombies look better than they've ever looked in any Resident Evil game. And yeah, I I, I don't really know what, what else to say. This was an incredible trailer and I even ha had a good amount of time to look up some gameplay. And this is the type of game that really makes me just really pissed off that I didn't go to E3 this year because I wasn't really sure if they were going to show off anything like super exciting. But something like this makes me wish I was there so I could actually get my hands on the demo. But heck, maybe if they bless us with their... <laughs> with their well, if they're excited, maybe they'll release a demo on the you know the PlayStation Network somehow, or you know uh, allow some sort of beta demo to be available for the mass majority of us. Because I would be just playing that nonstop. This is absolutely something I want to be streaming next year. And as it sits right now, this very much could be my most anticipated game of 2019. And it comes out right at the beginning of next year. It's not even all that far away. So. Yeah, I got nothing but really positive things to say about this game. I would like to know, what were your guys' thoughts on the Resident Evil 2 trailer? Are you happy that they actually did change the camera angles and make it go back to a much more horror focus? Or are there some of you old school fans out there that wish that they had just done what they did with the first Resident Evil uh, kind of like, I guess, remastering and just kept the camera angles, kept the turbo controls, and just give it a new visual update? Share your thoughts with me and everyone else in the comments down below. And like always, Please like, comment down below, and please subscribe, check me on future videos, and also don't forget to press one of the links down below so you can follow me on Twitter and friend me on Facebook to keep track of me in my future videos. Like always, thank you guys for watching, you're awesome, and I'll see you next time.